Fruit of Her is a story inspired by Fruit of My Woman by Han King, a South Korean author. Fruit of Her is a short film about a woman named Myrtle who begins to realize her stereotypically comfortable life path is not sustainable for her. As she, as she discovers her partner and society are more worried about what she can do for him rather than genuinely loving and caring for her, she begins a biological metamorphosis into a plant that ceases all fruit and begins to seed as a survival mechanism in an extremely non-suitable environment. Themes of Fruit of Her will be part patriarchal and societal pressure, pressures to love and care for those without genuine, genuine reciprocation, manipulation and ingenuine care in return, mental rejection of circumstances, and biological return to nature. For the camera movement, when focusing on the environment of our main character Myrtle uh, and her intentional care of it, the shots will be still and peaceful to relay her strong will for protection of peace and longevity. When oppressing forces from her partner Simon are shown, I will be tracking her POV of him from right behind her, crossing over her in frame to show how even in his direct actions she is fully involved aware of her involvement and fearful because of it. Uh, for the acting style and blocking, due to having fairly inexperienced actors and experienced theater actors, I'm hoping to create an environment for very minimal acting. This film will not be very dialogue driven, but the moments of dialogue I'm wanting to shoot for the subtle indirect actions with direct reactions, similar to that of the beginning scenes of Midsommar, without Florence Pugh's unmatched breakdown scenes, of course, replicating true feeling conversation that we have all wanted not to be a part of ever again. Production design, with almost the entirety of the film being in one apartment and the camera following one character, mainly, the apartment's production design will develop alongside Myrtle's metamorphosis. It will begin with a very open-ended minimal apartment, almost vacuum clean, uh, but not very individually unique in decoration, as these characters are not very aware of themselves yet. The occasional house plant, family pictures, and centerpiece but as Myrtle begins to reject her place in this environment, the house will begin to fill with houseplants. The idea I'm going for is an empty, bright, an empty, bright greenhouse rapidly changing into a minimal rainforest. Costume and makeup. Uh, aside from casual costume guidelines for our actors to feel comfortable in, the main project of makeup and costume will be the evolving stages of bruising, sprouting, and seeding for Myrtle. Her bruises will have dark burrowing plant matter pressing through her skin. The idea is to get two scenes of worsening grotesque bruises before the plants begin to show, giving the illusion that Simon is possibly physically abusive off screen, then exposing the plant matter and taking the poetic turn, turn towards uh, rapid metamorphosis. Uh, by the end, Myrtle will have a couple of costume pieces that merge with her legs and original bruises, as well as fingertipped flowers and very root-like hair. For the, composition, for the composition and visual tone, this film is extremely intimate with Myrtle's experiences, so depending on her emotion, the shot will vary from helpless, incredibly empty feeling frames weighed down to her placement in them, uh, to more intimate and crowded tight shots of her efforts against her hopeless feelings. Any conversational shots between her and Simon, or between her and her friends, and Simon and her friends, his friends, will be artistically approached over the shoulder shots and two shots that will keep the visual theme of together in proximity and distant in understanding. Uh, for the score, music, and sound design, a good friend of mine, Cameron Mallon, uh, will be doing the music for us. There are a few distinct tones of Myrtle's experience across the film that I want to accomplish, and I'm working with Cam towards subtle continuing soundscapes that swell and clash and go silent when appropriate. Uh, his Equipment is fairly string oriented, so I hope to be more experimental with the slides and sustaining of chords rather than plucking melodies.